Welcome to SunPower SunVault Pro Tips. This video will show you the lineup of tools you should have on your truck during any SunVault storage installation. There are certainly a lot of standard tools and equipment you'll need, such as a tape measure, wire strippers, drill and assorted bits, etc. And there's a handy tool checklist for that in SunPower University. But during this video, we want to take the opportunity to call out some of the more specialized tools and heavy hitters to add to your kit. Installing storage has different needs than installing a solar system. First, the ESS cabinets and battery components are very large and heavy, so you will need a hand truck, preferably with a lift, to safely unload the components from the truck and transfer them to the installation site. Moving blankets are important to protect the exterior of the components when using the hand truck or lift. You should always have a lockout tagout kit, but we are mentioning it here because it's so important. The same with the multimeter. A four to six foot level is needed to level out multiple ESS units. A aesthetics are important. You'll want a bundled radial cable stripper for RPO cables so you can properly strip the outer jacket and not compromise the inner conductors. You should always have high-quality torque tools, sockets, and tips capable of torquing from 3 to 180 inch pounds. You need a torque screwdriver, too. Have a paint marker to mark lugs and screws after the proper torque is applied. You need a knockout kit to create conduit holes for the Hub Plus and ESS. You should have a T20 screwdriver to open and close the PVS cover in the Hub Plus, an 1132nd nut driver for the CT bridge and removing smaller nuts within the Hub Plus, like the PVDR, a 516th nut driver, and a ferrule kit. You should already have a set of hex keys or Allen wrenches, but make sure it includes a 516th Allen wrench to open the ESS door latch. A voice data video cable tester is used to check communication cables in continuity. It's a good idea to have a temperature measurement instrument to measure the battery heat output. Lastly, you'll need a label maker for printing 3 quarter inch labels to indicate the migrated circuits on the Hub Plus dead front and other subpanels in the house. Again, this is not an exhaustive list. We just want to call out a few of those tools you may not already have in your toolbox when it comes to installing SunVault storage systems. If this was helpful, please like our video and make sure to subscribe.